So at the very beginning of the year, I got to produce a really cool fitness film, and I want to share it with you. It was all shot on the Sony FX3, and one of the interview angles was a FX6, but I hope you enjoy it. I really don't know where I would be because CrossFit, it's what I look forward to every day. PFX has always been a big goal to do every year. They're trying to do something really special here. These types of events create aha and life altering moments. <laughs> Welcome to the 15th Annual Fittest Experience here in Austin, Texas. Yes! Over 900 athletes are prepped and ready for this weekend's competition. I discovered CrossFit in 2012 and uh, very hesitantly walked in because as a breast cancer survivor and having a mastectomy and lymph nodes removed, uh, my surgeon said, don't lift over 50 pounds. My name is Rhonda Henry and I am here at TFX for the very first time and my division is 60 plus. My name is Margot Putty, and this is my fifth year doing TFX. I was a survivor of sexual assault in 2011, so past the 10 year mark, I went into a really dark place. I didn't know how to cope with it, so I depended on going out, alcohol, and then I kind of got stuck and, and didn't know what to do anymore. I was 39 when I was diagnosed and um, and I just always tried to like be positive and keep planning for the future. Keep planning for the future. Don't think of your surgery or your chemo date as like a death sentence of some sort, but like keep fighting. So I just started talking about my assault in 2021, which was the 10 year anniversary of it, because it was really hard. Um, I myself didn't want to know that happened, so I tried to avoid it as much as possible. I couldn't pay for college anymore, so I decided to join the Army, and I was in the Texas Army National Guard for six years. And that's kind of where my passion for fitness and living a healthier life kind of grew. Fitness, after I joined the military, it kind of made me realize that there was more for me. I felt strong, not just physically, but mentally as well. I really feel like CrossFit led me to where I'm at right now. PFX has always been something, a big goal to do. So it kind of gives me something to look forward to and train for every year. So it's always super exciting. Every competition that I do, I write Survivor on my hand. When I'm doing a hard workout and I don't want to do anymore, I'll look at my hand and remind myself that it's an incredible gift to be a survivor for this long. And that's why I came here. It's such a blessing to be able to be here and celebrate my life. Are you ready, Austin, Texas? The competition is underway.
My name is Jeremy Till, and I'm the founder of The Fittest Experience. When you start to get the gravity of like what you have to do to compete here, everybody's fabrics of their lives are impacted from their sleep, their food, their physical training, uh, their emotions, their relationships. So like the, the expansion of what we're doing is just so much greater. And it's, it's people's lives. This is all we have, is our life experience. And so we have a thousand people competing every single one of their lives on a moment by moment, day by day, from the food they put in their mouth, the sleep, the hydration, the relationships are impacted by their decision to commit to doing that. These types of events create aha and life altering moments. In the heat, the emotion, the competitiveness, the experience of it all, the experience can change your life. And it changes the trajectory of where they're going, their desires, their goals, their, their you know, relationships. So in that, I really ultimately, I think I do it to serve that opportunity for that aha to occur. In 2014, I was working out in like a Globo gym, LA Fitness, and I was on the treadmill, kind of miserable, trying to lose weight, not having fun in the gym. And I saw Rich at the games and was like, that is the coolest person I've ever seen in my life. I'm Jackson. I've uh, been doing TFX for three years, and I'm in the RX team division this year. My life has changed through CrossFit so much because near to when I found it, uh, I actually was just getting sober off meth and heroin. And, uh, <sighs> November 21st, 2013 was my first day of actual sobriety. I was detoxing. I was hopeless, miserable. I remember telling my counselor that I was not even going to last five days and, you know, I was meant to die on the streets. Wandered into a CrossFit gym and found that community and immediately fell in love with the people there. I had a new purpose, I had a goal in life, I was enjoying workouts. When I started to get serious about the qualifiers, I kind of had to stop, you know, eating like a, like a crap head, kind of start sleeping more, uh, dial it in, because everybody out here wants to be a part of this too, and everyone's working really hard, so if I'm out there not giving my best, you know, there's only a certain number of spots, so you really got to work your butt off to get here. I remember my first year I came here, it was big, but like I came back last year and I was like, well, it's, it's popping off this year. Like it's getting real. So this year is extremely special to me because it's my first year on a team and my first year in the RX division. I put like the most focus into it I ever have in my life. And we uh, end up qualifying pretty high up. And I think we're like the first or second seed in the RX division. And we're super excited to be out here and give it a shot to try to win the whole thing, so. I really like that the motto is no quit this year because, you know, in regards to my sobriety, that's been the message the whole time is like, don't stop, you know, no matter who falls off or, or who dies, you know, I've had a lot of friends die who go back out. Um, my life has had to be no quit since I got sober. You have to make the right choices for yourself, but you can quit this job, this relationship, but you can't quit on you. I have had so many struggles besides breast cancer and I've never let them get to me. It's just really important for me to not quit and to keep going no matter how tough it is. And there's a lot in life that is even tougher than having cancer. And it's just really important to do that. So no quit, that means a lot to me because I, have grown a lot since 2011 and I feel like I've taken control of my body and I am a strong person mentally and physically now and I feel because I never quit or gave up on myself so that's, that's why I'm here today and always fighting. Make sure you 
Emotions are high and the final stage is set. Today, we'll find out who stands on top of the podium. One of the biggest reasons that CrossFit is so important to me is that we're all like-minded people. And to survive in sobriety, in my opinion, you have to constantly be trying to better yourself because one of the biggest challenges is falling off the wagon. And I've had a lot of people that mean a lot to me die over the past nine years, which is you know, a sad reality of being sober is not everybody makes it. This community, these workouts, this mindset, you know, all that kind of stuff, just about pushing yourself forward, that has made me a better person. And I know that everyone there is trying to better themselves and I'm trying to better myself too. And I can be around people doing that and it'll push me forward. So thank you again for watching. If you made it all the way through, just big shout out to Lisa McCracken who directed this and Will Walker, who's the director of photography. They did an amazing job. And also just to everyone who was involved with this film, thank you so much. It was amazing getting to produce this. So thank you again. Subscribe to this channel. Love if you liked this video and commented. Peace.